Well, we're camping at Lizard Creek Campground in Grand Teton National Park. And I thought I'd take a minute just to show you a little bit about our food storage and organizational system. Many people have asked how we handle food and cooking for a 40-day trip. Um, it's not that much different than at home. And you go to the grocery, you buy what you need, and you get home and you fill your pantries. But instead of pantries, we keep it all in the back of the van. We do have a food storage box at each campsite in the Tetons and at other parks as well, but we prefer just to keep the food with us in the van. That way, if we want to stop for a picnic lunch or a sunset dinner, we have everything we need right on board. Let's take a look. After we purchased our Nissan NV 3500, I started looking around the internet, seeing if I could find some examples of how people had modified it for long road trip use or camping. Didn't have much luck, so I thought I would just create my own system of organization, and here's what we came up with. We removed the back seats of the Nissan and gave us quite a bit of room in the back, but it was just one big open spot. And I knew that traveling a long distance on the road, things would shift around and move, so we needed something more stable. So the boys and I built a large wooden box, basically is what it is, that fits exactly in the back. And it's uh, deep enough and wide enough to hold eight of these gray bins that you see in the picture. We've uh, organized the bins according to meals. So you can see the tags on there. Um, B is for breakfast, L lunch, D dinner, S is for snack. And in the back we have just uh, baking items, extra camping materials such as a lantern, ropes for clothesline, things like that. Then over on the side here, we mounted our ARB refrigerator. And uh, that way the food is always with us wherever we stop. Now the one thing we found out is that the Nissan did not have a 12 volt outlet that was active in the back even when the vehicle was turned off. It does have a 110 converter plug but it's only functional when the ignition is on. So that wasn't going to work. So I uh, got an ARB wiring kit and wired it directly from the battery in the front and then I mounted a socket here in the back. I'll kind of point to it. It's just right over there. There it is. And that socket is active all the time. So uh, go ahead and pull it out there, Gabe. It's on the ARB slide system, so we can use it when it's pushed in or we can slide it out. The weight of the box is to the left. Keep everything balanced so we don't have any worry about it tipping out. So uh, this is how we organize our food in the back. Up top, we just have a, an extra shelf built for day packs, um, paper towels, other things that we pick up along the way and it just has about a three inch lip on the front and on the sides so that the things don't slide out, slide around. We have room for our step ladder on the left side and we use that whenever we go up top to get into the toolie box because the van is so high <laughs> you can't reach it from the ground. That's Gabe's job. He goes up on the roof and opens and pulls everything out and we pass. So there's a look at our food storage system while we're on the road.